Hi everybody, this is a video to instruct you how to build a fish habitat in a freshwater lake. Before we get started, before you get to this stage, you need to check with your local regulators, either at the state or county level. And you want to get your permits done properly, so that you don't run into trouble, of course. You're on. And of course, you need dogs around just for a little comic relief and to keep things from getting boring. Hi everybody, it's January 2014 and we have assembled this fish crib. We did it in the winter time, so as we dragged the logs around we didn't tear up the lawn and of course the ice is in place, so that really helped things out. I mean, we normally make a make these. Uh huh. Which is fine, but I think we got to. Yeah. Here, stuff and brush and you got to bring that one this way. Yeah, that I one. know that. Um, I'm thinking do we cut two feet off. Yeah. Back. You guys, thanks for coming up to build the fish crib today. We'll see if we can get this on YouTube, eh? All right. All right. Good. Hey guys, it's necessary to weigh your fish crib down so that it doesn't float around your lake and become a hazard. We weighed down our fish crib with concrete block. We tied four blocks around each of the four corners and an additional two blocks on the mid portion of each of the four sides. I'm not saying that this is what you'll need. Notches on your end to pull it out of the lake. Turn back and walk up the hill. Stand back. We'll go right on top. Down to the lake. There he goes. Very good. Look at that. So in this part here, we're, we've got some banding we're putting around the logs. We put it around two times, and then we have a tool to pull the banding tight, and then we are going to crimp it with metal crimpers, we'll show you shortly. There's our expert on the banding technique, David. There you go. All right. Here's our little metal crimp that holds the bands together. And then we're going to apply the crimper. Here's the crimping now. Very good. The band, as you look at this, the banding comes both we'll ways. Do this one right here. Come on. All right. The bands on both sides here. Ladies, if possible, it's better to do the lake portion of your project in one day. When I did my project, I put the logs out on the ice and banded it together, and then I left it. When I came back a few weeks later, it was covered in snow and ice, and I had to shovel out the entire fish crib to get my block and tree branches in place. Now, in this phase of the operation, <laughs> one tries to enlist one's spouse, <laughs> sometimes using all devices necessary in order to move the project along. It's the project that's all important. <laughs> anyway, so she's tying the cinder block onto the uh, floor of the raft here. <laughs> so uh, that's where we're at right now. We're using quite a bit of leftover block here. And we're tying that on so that if the raft tipped is on its way down in the spring, everything won't fall to one side and then the fish crib is going to be on its side. We don't want that. Why not, I say? You can see that uh, after a week or two, your fish crib would have looked so nice quickly gets covered by snow, so you want to mark it with reflectors and uh, perhaps a wood post 
so that uh, snowmobilers, if they've been imbibing, so that they don't run into it and then they sue you. So sure to put plenty of reflectors up. And one of the most important things we did was to mark our fish cribs with a GPS so that when we want to catch fish later on, we can find those fish cribs. Hey kids, as you can see, we weighted down the fish crib with block and we added habitat in there, we tied that in. And in order to have your fish crib drop through the ice successfully, you should use an ice auger, wait until the ice is fairly soft, take all possible safety precautions so that you don't go through the ice, then drill holes around your fish crib. The hole should be about two feet away from your crib and about 10 or 12 holes on each of the four sides of your crib. When I did my fish crib, it took me about 45 minutes to complete the drilling. I hope your fish crib dreams come true.